The Northumberland coast is typically made up of long stretches of sandy beaches held in place by rocky promontories. And nowhere more typifies this than the Almath Bay. And here we are at the north end of the bay, we have Seaton Point actually holding the sand in place to the north and midway down we have Marden Rocks and a little further south we have uh, Berlin Cars. But these rocky promontories, more than just landscape features, they are great natural history features too. For when the tide's in, the kelps and the racks and the other seaweeds provide kind of almost like a forest-like cover, uh, underwater forests. And this provides a home for all manner of creatures, crabs, lobsters, anemones, uh, limpets, and you name it, they're down there. It's great. When the tide falls, these places become haven for, uh, for birds and herons and gulls, and occasionally we'll see kingfishers sort of feeding on whatever remains in those rock pools after, as the tide falls. In the winter time, these places become really very, very important for all sorts of wading birds and the birds coming down from a long way north to spend their winter here. But it's, uh, it's a great old thing actually that these things are, are in place and there's nothing greater than actually having a little wander out onto a rock pool and just seeing what there is there. It holds oh, a fantastic array of life. It's absolutely amazing. It's teeming with life and you wouldn't think so at low tide. It looks dead and it's not though, uh, just lying dormant, waiting for the next high tide to come and reinvigorate. But anyway, here we are at Seaton Point on Almath Bay. Take care folks and gun canny.